So about a year ago, I had an idea for a joke. It was a VR experience, and the whole thing was just designed to make a friend laugh. But at the time, I actually knew very little about programming and nothing about game development or just how daunting something like this could be from start to finish. Once I knew I really wanted to do this joke, I had to figure out how I was going to make it, so I started looking at different game engines. It turns out there's actually a lot of different engines you can choose from. I was initially drawn to Unreal because of its visual scripting. I thought it would be easier for me to put something together in it. Once I had the engine installed, I headed over to YouTube and started looking up tutorials on how to do things. Another hour later, and I actually did have a working VR scene. It had all the movement systems I needed, as well as grabbing. I started looking up a lot of stuff on YouTube on how to do the different things I needed and started adding them into the project. After a while of trying to figure out my own blueprint, I decided visual scripting actually probably wasn't for me. After a quick Google search, I came across Unity Learn, a free online learning platform actually made by Unity itself to teach you how to use the engine. After finishing the first lesson, I was awarded with XP towards a pathway. These pathways once completed give you a badge showing what you have learned. This badge system turned out to be really good motivation for me. I decided I really wanted to earn the junior programming badge within three months. I ended up setting goals for myself each day for how much of a course I'd have to complete in order to obtain that badge in the three months I wanted. I ended up obtaining this badge a little bit earlier than the three months, and afterwards, I was left with a big question, what the heck do I do from here? The original idea of making this joke had actually left my mind about a month earlier, and instead I was left with no ideas. I actually felt pretty bad. After a while, I expressed some of these feelings with the same friend who I initially planned this joke for. His suggestion was that I try a game jam. Over the next six months, I ended up doing a total of six of these game jams. None of these I ended up submitting on time, but they were really good learning experiences for me. A few months later, I found out about the Global Game Jam. During this jam, I went from having to constantly reference YouTube videos for my scripts to actually writing my own lines, and in the end, I was writing entire scripts without referencing. The initial upload was actually really incomplete. I had let the scope of the project get out of control, as well as implementing a few things in the middle of the project that really should have been done from the start. Learning game development may have started off as a joke for me, but a year later it's actually changed my life. Not because of any financial gain, but it's given me a lot of confidence in myself that if I apply myself I can actually do things. As I head into the next year of learning game development, I plan on posting frequent devlogs as well as videos about the projects I'm working on. If you enjoyed hearing my story, don't forget to click the thumbs up button, and if you want to see the next video, make sure to subscribe. Until then, see you next time.